For the last 1,027 days, nearly three years of our lives, we've lived here, smack dab in the middle of the woods with no electricity. Relying on folding solar panels and a generator for days with little sun, we've made huge sacrifices to our comfort. I feel cheap. <laughs> all in the name of building a better future. We're taking what was once just an idea scribbled on the back of a piece of paper and turning it into a state-of-the-art electrical system capable of powering our shipping container home and geodesic dome for the rest of our lives with zero monthly bills. Today, we're taking major steps to join the rest of you in the 21st century. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We post new videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern and you don't wanna miss it. Come along. So the very first project we are getting started on today is finally working on our power building. If you've been following the vlog for a while now, you know how much of a saga this place has been. It's only been a year since we started it. I was gonna say, it's actually been a full year. So this is what it looks like. Although, in our defense, we have been very busy this last year and we've still been working on it. So yeah. we've got the whole building wired, spray foamed, framed, everything is good to go. So the way that the building works, the solar panels, the DC power comes over to the building underground, then it's converted to AC and distributes to everywhere across the property. So the house, the dome, eventually the greenhouse and workshop. And then it's also where our water comes into from our deep water well, because it's right outside this wall. So then it gets filtered and made safe and then also distributes to all the buildings. So that is why we need to make sure it's nice and warm and to take care of the floor, we are going with insulated subfloor panels. In an ideal world, we definitely should have jacked up the container and sprayed underneath. But you know what? We don't live in an ideal world, so. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. We're gonna work hard today, so we're just gonna get after this. What do we think? Do we wanna run down? Sure, let's do that way. Is it like tongue groove? Yeah. Oh, there, it's in. The strange thing is, this is technically a floating floor. Do you want to screw it into the floor after this? I think so, yeah. If you've ever done like laminate floor, it's essentially the same thing. It's tongue and groove, but because it's plywood, there's all these little broken pieces, which doesn't allow you to get perfectly in the groove. It's quite annoying. Reading the install manual may have, may have helped, but we said, nope. She's a tight squeeze there, right? Yeah. What's the measurement? 73 and a half. So because this is our main battery building and this is where all of our water is going to be, we needed to come up with a solution in order to prevent the batteries from getting wet if the water that's eventually going to go here ever exploded or there was a leak or something. So we've been working on elevating the floor right here. Um, we're going to build like a kind of like a little hutch, I guess. Yeah, so it'll have some doors so that they're kind of hidden with a countertop on top of it. Yeah. Just out of, you know, out of the way. Yeah, we're kind of just like figuring this out as we go a little bit, but we have this leftover insulated floor right here. We only want to do this once. Like this is going to last forever, so we may as well do it right. Yeah, and we don't want the batteries freezing. So yeah. We are gonna use up the scraps that we have because we've got a few full boards, but I want to try and use these little pieces out. Just to like fit them in there? Yeah. Yeah. All Let's right, get well, Let's build this puzzle. <laughs> Looks really good. Yeah. Okay, what now? Plywood? Plywood. Wow. Okay. Have a little dance party on here. <laughs> Karaoke night on the stage. <laughs> Looking good. All right, time for some cement board, man. That's not going to be bad. 
Okay, so what we're doing now is rather than doing drywall in the battery building, we've decided to do concrete board. Concrete has more thermal mass than drywall, so when the building gets warm, it will take less energy to maintain that temperature because concrete, obviously, when it gets warm, it keeps that heat in. It's like a heat battery to keep our yeah. electric batteries warm. Thermal battery, if you will. Yeah, that's a better word. <laughs> <laughs> Very scientific, this episode. It's almost like we know what we're talking about. Almost. You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do, I'll lift it up here. This is actually pretty exciting. It's really exciting. We finally got the concrete board done. That is very physically demanding, but we just threw on the propane heater to try and warm up the building a little bit for the next step. So while that does that, we're gonna warm ourselves up a little bit as well with some soup for lunch. I think this is my favorite part about the wood stove. We always have boiling water ready to go whenever we need it. It's off grid on demand hot water. Yeah, we've been having a lot of soups lately, so. It's so good. Yeah, all right, let's get this going. Okay. What's new and exciting? <laughs> Pretty well the same old shit. <laughs> we got so busy today, we forgot that Nam was coming over for tea. It's always nice visiting with her and the timing actually worked out perfectly as we were pouring the water onto our soups, she was here. The soups didn't quite get me where I needed to be. I need a little more energy if we're gonna keep tackling this power building. So I'm gonna mix us up an Athletic Greens who's the sponsor of today's video. Athletic Greens is an all-in-one formula jam-packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. We've been having Athletic Greens every single day for almost three years. It truly tastes amazing. It doesn't have that bitter, chalky taste that some other products have. It's subtly sweet and just so easy to consume. Making it could not be any easier. All you do is take 12 ounces of water, add one scoop of formula, give it a couple shakes, I like to add in some ice so that it's nice and cold for us and you're good to go. It's also super simple to incorporate into your routine. We like to have ours midday as a little pick-me-up when we're feeling a little sluggish, but some people like to take it with their breakfast, anything that works for you, and now's the perfect time to do it because it's a new year, new you, and time to make some good habits. If you wanna find out more about AG1 and how they can help you on your health journey, make sure you use the link in our description box down below. If you use that link, they're gonna hook you up with five free travel packs as well as a one year supply of the vitamin D drops. But for now, I'm gonna finish making these and head back up to the power building with this newfound energy. Let's go. All right, so we're just getting back from lunch and now what we're gonna work on is getting our in-floor heat installed. So for this, we have to put down this orange stuff because what this does allows our heat trace to like snap into the floor. We've only done tiling once. You know what though? We've only lifted shipping containers into the middle of the forest once and we almost did that correctly, so. True. <laughs> Do you need these masks? I don't know, just hold your breath. That might be good. Like it's pretty liquid. I'm ready and nervous. <laughs> Well, are we out enough or do I have to go longer? No, we're out enough. Do we want to offset like I had them cut? Yeah, we could become in floor heat installers if you wanted. Tyler and Todd's in floor heat services. Surprisingly, this wasn't that bad to work with. It was really easy. Yeah, so now we're on to the heat trace, which is right here. So what we have to do is take this wire and we just 
run it through this orange floor, right? I think so. I've never done this before, so mm -hmm. I don't know. So rather than boring you with installing the in-floor heat, let me tell you, it was not fun. You really did not miss anything. <laughs> it was, I was annoying. Well, I feel like we were led down a path of failure because we watched <laughs> one YouTube video on how to do it, and they said to use a trowel and push it in and- Liars. Liars. <laughs> it didn't work, so we had to do it with our hands, and my thumbs are killing me right now. This is definitely going to be a long project. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. These small little buildings, though. just like when we did the outhouse. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I'll get the headlamp. I'll go fill the generator. All right, we are back in business. Got, Got headlamps on. Headlamp crew on the case. <laughs> oh my, this is getting so old. So the situation that we have right now, I don't even know if you can see me, but... Oh, sorry, one thing, not to interrupt, but um, if anyone knows how to put together a snowblower, this has been sitting here since before Christmas, and <laughs> it'd be nice to have it together. It, we really need to get that together. We've been actually pretty lucky on the snow front, so knock on wood. Anyway, so the setup that we've been running with is we have these jerry can... We're running on um, We've got like that much? That sounds about right. So we normally have these jerry cans full. So when our EcoFlow inside runs low on battery, we can top it up using this generator that we have right here. In the winter, we need to use it a lot more than in the summer. In the summer, we have like little foldable ones that are connected into the um, EcoFlow. We just don't get enough sun this time of year. Foldable solar panels, not foldable yeah. generators. <laughs> that would be handy. That would be. Anyway, also our demand is a lot higher because it's dark longer and we need the yeah. fans on to blow heat. So anyway, we're going to fill her up. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, <laughs> she said, I'm here to party, boys. <laughs> Watch out for the snowblower. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Well, now that that's over, we can Yay. get on with our night. Yeah. I mean, we're probably not being the best at adulting by yeah. using this small, like, very small bit of power that we have to have every <laughs> to single light Kart. on. And, yeah, video games. But it is what it is. My brain's a little mushy, and I need to decompress after the day. Yeah. We've um, been doing this a lot more lately. Well, especially, like, it's winter, even though we don't have any snow. But it's been cold out, so we've just been sitting in front of the fire watching a lot more TV lately, so. Yeah, it's good, but it's anyway. Great setup. I've okay. already picked my character, I need you to. Okay, you're not gonna win, by the way. That's because I chose Peach. She always loses, but I kind of like her. I'm a Bowser kind of guy, personally. Oh, <laughs> can't keep up with big boy Bowser. Never ever refer to yourself as that in camp. <laughs> Big boy mouser. Well, that seems about right. Yeah, let's just go to bed. I guess we'll just have to call it a tie. Good morning. So Todd is running his grandmother to a few appointments this morning. So while he's out doing that, you guys are stuck with me. So the plan yesterday was to completely have this power building finished so that when the electricians get here later today, we can just like have like a clean working space to do the batteries and do everything that we need to, but that just didn't go to plan. So this is how it looks right now. I'm really happy with how it's come together, but the reality is this membrane and installing the heated floor, it's not something that you can really do twice. So you need to do it right the first time because otherwise you're chiseling tile out and all of that because obviously that's what's gonna go on top of this. But then we realize we can't tile if we're supposed to be working in here today because the tile has to cure, like it takes 24 hours. There's a lot of steps to this project. So what I've come up with is I'm gonna put this construction paper down. It's like a floor protectant for um, construction basically. So. We're gonna do that so then we can continue working on the batteries and do all the electrical that we need to do in here, but not mess up the floor. I think it's a pretty good plan. It's, <laughs> it's adapting to um, a situation that is kind of annoying. We want this building finished, but it is what it is. So let's start laying this out. I've heard people talk of this thing called love. It's something that I 
See? This is what I was talking about. This floor here. Listen. So that's the in-floor heat cable. Like that's another section that we missed. So it's popping out. It's definitely good practice that we're doing this in this building, like not, not having really done floor tile or heat of floor or anything before. It's good because we're hoping that we can get our bathroom and the container home. That's like our first project we want to tackle. So silver lining, <laughs> it's good practice. So Todd is just getting back from running errands with his nan. How'd it go? Good. Yeah? Yeah, you ready to keep working? Yeah, um, the camera battery died. Sorry about that, guys. But I all I did was hang this on the wall. This is gonna go like in no time, especially now that you're back. Yeah. We're gonna crush through this. All right. Oh, you didn't even say anything about my floor. Oh, that looks good. It's hard work, I'm telling you. Yeah. Hey, I'm sure it was. You know, cut the paper and taking it. A lot of work. Yeah, let's go. I feel like I'm falling out. Don't know what to do. It's like. We'll have to run the dehumidifier in here. Why? All this wood is wet from the rain. So Adam and Tyler just got here and wasted no time getting to work. They're working on getting conduit into the building in the rain. Perfect day for electric work. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good though. Didn't even know this. Look how safe Adam's being. He put these things on. They're called expansion joints. So as the ground heaves and like freezes and stuff, the conduit like has room to shift with it instead of cracking, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that existed. Better safe than sorry, I guess, so. Hey, we want to do this once. Yeah, exactly. That's better. Most electricians do a shitty job, so they come back and do it twice or three times. Not Adam, he does it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of turned into a little bit of a miserable day here. Todd and I just finished setting up this rain tent yeah. thing. So because the power building is just such a confined space, there's not enough room for all four of us to be working in here, as you can see. So by having this, just makes it a lot more um, workable and yeah, gives us more space to get, get everything done. <laughs> so close. So it can be close to the center of the box there and you want it center of this guy. <laughs> Sparks. Yeah, there wow. you go. That's right. I enjoy a good twirl, eh? <laughs> Do you have the charge controllers as well? Yep. yep. So we brought over everything except for the batteries. The bracket is the standard bracket that comes with every VE panel. If your controller must mount to the opposite side. So the breakers go where? Here? To the DIN rail, yeah. We're going to need four breakers. It should be one for this, and then there should be two 150 volt breakers and two 300 volt breakers. Yeah. All right, cool. Big lift. On there, eh? Well, we started looking to let go, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, it gets on there. That's pretty easy. Yeah. What are you thinking? It's pretty cool seeing it come together. It's gonna look so cool in there. Yep. So cool. Once we got the inverters and charge controllers installed, we realized that we couldn't go any further until the battery storage cabinet was built. I sketched up a design and sent Ty into town to pick out a few supplies, but I got to work. The first step was to cut out part of the platform that we built earlier. I realized that the batteries weren't gonna take up this entire space and this will all make more sense in a minute. The bones of the cabinet went together super quickly. I ripped a few pieces of plywood and started boxing it in. This space here is for the batteries. I added in a few more support pieces just to sure everything up and to give it a little bit more strength. I gave everything a once over with a fine grit sandpaper to buff out any of the imperfections. Once things were looking good with the cabinet, it was time to start filling in the cracks and holes with caulking and this was literally taking forever, but it was such an important step because once all the electrical components are in here, we won't be able to get around them, so we just have to keep pushing forward. Oh, this is gonna be a long old journey, I think. I really wish I could have been here to help Todd paint. 
I ended up getting stuck in the city. The rain turned to snow and we ended up getting so much of it. Todd really wants to finish up this painting, but I've got another plan in mind for when he's done. Yeah, I don't think it was a good idea for me to wear slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Do you want to lean it on the tree? Sure. Which burns a little. <laughs> burns a little getting in. You are looking very zen right now. <laughs> I feel very zen, which is a nice contrast because before this, I think my brain and body had turned to mush. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. I've just been thinking and working on that building for so long. It was definitely an ambitious project. <laughs> yeah, we were um, just talking about how it's kind of ridiculous that we thought that we were going to be able to finish this project this week. I, I'm not sure what we were thinking. It's the same process between behind everything that we do. A little oh, yeah. ambitious, but it is what it is. Maybe we'll have power next week. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But we're having fun along the way, right, love? Yeah, that's all that really matters. <laughs> and the one good thing is, like, this snowstorm means that we're not going to be able to continue on tomorrow because Adam's not going to be able to drive all the way out here. So, like, at least we can, like, have a snow day. Oh, my God, we get an adult snow day. Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> Silver linings. So, anyway... Hopefully we'll have power next Sunday. Stay tuned. We'll see, I guess. Yeah. Until then, have a great week. <laughs> we'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.